if you get to be 65 or 70 and later, and, and the people that you want to have love you actually do love you, you're a success. I've never seen anybody that reaches that age. I mean, I'm not talking about somebody that's in extreme poverty or pain or something, but I've never seen anybody that, if they have a lot of people that, that love them, that is other than happy. And I've seen some very, very wealthy people that they give testimonial dinners to and name schools after and everything. They're, nobody, nobody loves them, you know. Well, I, by far the best investment you can make is in yourself. I mean, uh, for example, communication skills. I tell the students that come that uh, they're going to graduate schools and business and they, they're learning all these complicated formulas and all that. If they just learn to communicate better, and both in writing and in person, they increase their value at least 50%. You know, I mean, it, it, uh, if you can't communicate, somebody says, you know, it's like winking at a girl in the dark. Nothing happens, you know, basically. And, and you have to be able to get, get forth your ideas. And, uh, and that's, that's relatively easy. I did it myself with the Dale Carnegie course. Some people wish I'd taken a shorter course now <laughs> in terms of my talking later on. But it, it, it's just hugely important. And you, if you invest in yourself, nobody can take it away from you. I mean, you, you and uh, the second thing, which I'll get a certain criticism for not living it, but, but I do tell the, those students, you know, that if I gave you a car and it'd be the only car you get in the rest of your life, you, you take care of it like you can't believe Any scratch you'd fix that moment, you read the owner's manual, you keep a garage and do all these things. And you get exactly one mind to one and one body in this world. And, and you can't start taking care of it when you're 50. By that time, you'll have rusted out if you haven't done anything. So you, you, should, you should really make sure that you just remember that you just got one mind and body to get through life with and to, to do the most with it. You know, the most important thing, uh, aside from the things I've talked about already, is, is really who you associate with. You want to associate with people that are better than you are. I mean, basically, you'll go in the direction of the people that you associate with. And, and you want to have the right heroes. Uh, you want people, if you want to emulate somebody, you better pick very carefully who you want to emulate. And, uh, and when, obviously, you can't pick your parents. Uh, uh, they're going to have an enormous influence on you, but you don't get a choice on that. But you get choices as you go down the line, and you. Uh, Is business school worth it? Depends on the person, and, uh, much more than it depends on the school. I mean, I, I wouldn't worry. Some people are going to get a lot out of advanced education, and some people are going to get uh, very little. And uh, I, I don't even think it's important that every person go to college at all. I mean, uh, we have all kinds of jobs that. 70 or so thousand a year, 80,000 a year, that college training is, is, is not of use. And, and I, I actually was not keen on going to college really? myself. Yeah, my dad uh, kind of jollied me into it. He could get me to do anything. But uh, if they'd had an SAT test in those days, he would have taken the test for me. <laughs> but because but, uh, I, I just, I, I was, I, I knew I could have a good time, and I, I liked investing, and I didn't really feel I, I, I could read the books. Uh, uh, so I don't, you know, it's it's a big commitment to take four years, and the, the cost involved, and maybe the loans involved, and everything. And I think, depending on what your interests are in life, uh, I, I don't th I don't think it's for everybody. I think it's for a lot of people. Uh, but there ought to be a reason you're going, and I didn't really see much reason. Charlie, Charlie said the major mistake you can make, and, and, and you know, you're, you're lucky if you're in the United States. You go around the world, you don't have a lot of choices some, in some places, but, but you, should, you should write your obituary and then try and figure out how to live up to it. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, that's, that's something you get wiser on as you uh, go along. The business mistakes, you just want to make sure you don't make any mistakes to take you out of the game or come close to taking you out of your game. You should never have a night when you're worried about uh, investing. I mean, assuming you have any money to invest at all, and you should, you should, you should spend a little bit less than you earn. And you can spend a little bit more than you earn, and then, then you've got debt, and the chances are you'll never get out of debt. We'll make an exception in terms of, of a mortgage on your house, but... but Credit card debt, and we're in the credit card business big time, and the world will stay in the credit card business. But why get behind the game? And if you're effectively paying 12 or 14 or whatever percent you're paying on a credit card, 
you know, you're saying I'm going to earn more than 14 percent of money, and if you can do that, come to Berkshire Hathaway. So, it it, uh, it it it's it's I hate to say this when Charlie's around me, but it's straight out of Ben Franklin. I mean, <laughs> and uh, it's not that complicated. Well, I'll I'll give you a couple lessons. So, you know, Tom Murphy, the first time I met him, said two things to me. He said, you know, always tell someone to go to hell tomorrow. Well, that was great advice then. And think of what great advice it is when you sit down on a computer and screw your life up forever by, by telling somebody to go to hell or something else in 30 seconds and you can't erase it. And, you know, you haven't lost the option. And he said, you know, praise by name, criticize by category. Well, what makes more sense than that? I mean, who do you like that criticizes you all the time? And uh, uh, you don't need to... You don't need to vilify anybody to make your point on, 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 on subjects of discussion. And, and then the, I'll give you another general piece of advice. I'm, I've never known anybody that was basically kind that died without friends. And uh, I've known plenty of people with money that have died without friends, including their family. But I've never known anybody. And, I'm, and uh, you know, I've seen a few people, including Tom Murphy Sr., and maybe Junior, who's here, <laughs> but certainly his dad. Uh, he, I never saw him. I, I watched him for 50 years. I never saw him do an unkind act. I didn't. I didn't seem to do very many stupid acts either. I mean, it wasn't that he was non-discriminating. He just, he just, uh, he just decided that uh, that there was no reason to do it. And uh, wow, what a difference that makes in life.